हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द एनरोलमेंट स्टेटस पेज so enrollment status page is very important page in windows autopilot which displays the provisioning status to people who is enrolling the windows device as well as signing in for the first time we can configure the enrollment status page to block device use until all required policies and applications are installed on the device device user can look at the esp to track how far along their device is in the step process the esp can be deployed during the default out of box experience for azure active directory joint device as well as windows autopilot provisioning scenarios to deploy the esp to devices we have to create a enrollment status page profile in microsoft intune within the profile we can configure the enrollment status page settings that controls what we want show the profile mode set time limitation error handling and user information show out of box experience to first and every new users block device until all selected applications and configuration profiles are installed so esp use the enrollment status tracking configuration service provider also known as csp and the first sync status csp to track the application installation there are three phases in enrollment status page and these phases are device preparation device setup and account setup device preparation is mainly used to secure the hardware joining the device in organization and register the device in mdm server device and account setup phase are showing the security policies certificate profiles network connection application deployed on devices and user respectively in device preparation the very first step is to ensure or secure the hardware to ensure that device completes the trusted platform module key attestation and validates its identity with azurity Azure AD sends a token to the device which is used during Azure AD join. The second step is to join the device in organization and the third one is to register the device in mobile device management. With the help of this step machine is going to enroll in Intune. During device setup phase uh, we can track the security policies, certificate profiles, network and application whatever we deployed on the device. after that within an account setup phase we will track the security policies certificates network connection and application deployed on the user now let's see how we can configure the enrollment status page and for that i am going device enrollment under device enrollment enroll devices and then windows enrollment and then we have a option called enrollment status page so by default enrollment status page is already there and it is targeted to, to all devices and all users so if you want you can you can customize a default one or you can create a new one for now i'm going to create a new one so i'm going to give a new name new one sorry new esp and then so it's saying that enrollment status page appears during initial device setup and during the first user sign in if enable so i am going to enable it so so that user can see all the profiles and app configuration progress so this section is talking about if you if there is any issue with the installation after how many minutes uh, user will get a other notification for now it's 60 minute by default but you can change as per your requirement and we can customize the error message also then if you want we can allow user to collect the logs it is by default enable and only show pages to the device provision by out of box experience yes we want this uh, this esp to show only if the machine is out of box experience window 
to the next option is to block device user use until all apps and profiles are installed so this is very important if you want to ensure that user can only log in once they have all the required applications and configuration uh, settings applied on the device if you want you can if it is by default enable but if you want you can close it if you are doing this then you will not able to get the customize or further customization option so for now i am going to select yes and then you can allow user to reset uh, device if installation occur yes i want user can enable uh, reset their device and then allow users to use device if installation occur fail let's say if you deploy 10 application and out of 10 9 application got successfully installed and one it's failed then also user can use their uh, device so if you want that you can allow it and the next option is to block device use until required apps are installed if they are assigned to the user or device so if you want to install all the application then you can select it otherwise you have a option to select some application and then once those those applications install user can log in and the rest of the application will install automatically once the user logged in so you, let's say i want to install i have some so i want to install google chrome and then we will see and then select so these two applications are mandatorily installed when these two applications are installed rest of the application will be installed after user login and then click next and then you can assign this to a specific group or all user or device for now i am going to deploy to the all devices and then click next i don't want to create a scope tag and then review it just ensure that all the settings are properly configured and then create now sp profiles are also uh, created so one more important point let's say you have a multiple enrollment status page so you can set the priority also uh, so to do that you need to drag it and then it will automatically change their priority let me show you i am going to create a new uh, dc test just for testing purpose i am not going to configure anything i just want to show you how to change the priority now i have it to uh, to enrollment status page i want and the i want new esp priority should be two and this dc test priority should be one so what you need to do you just need to drag it and it's automatically going to change now a new esp enrollment status space priority is two and this the very first is this one so this is very very useful when you have multiple esps and machine is part of or a user is a part of multiple esps i hope this is an informative video for you Thank you very much for watching this video.